And again, guys, as you already know what it is, so I uh, go to YouTube, type Windrush Auto Repair LLC, subscribe to my YouTube channel for all my videos. And today, we're gonna work on a new car. And those videos, I made them just to show you how to diagnose car and fix them right. Let's go. Good morning, guys. Um, today, um, I got a 2004 Toyota Camry. It's a full cylinder. Um, uh, it's a, a 2.5 liter engine. Um, the customer uh, is a uh, uh, 2.4 liter engine. The customer is bringing it here and then complain that the car is running bad and it's shaking. And then I take it to a test drive and then it's uh, running really bad. But on the dashboard, so worry. As you can see on the dashboard, I got a maintenance with quite, with quite light and an on on it. And then uh, when I scan it, when I take my scanner and I scan it, it comes to uh, a P0351. Uh, That's the ignition the core your primary secondary circuit. And um, I also got a P0301. Uh, one that's mean the miss uh, the the cylinder um the cylinder one is misfired so uh, <clears throat> now what we're gonna do so uh, let's see what's going on with uh with those core with this core and then um with this cylinder that's been um all those issues coming um from the cylinder one so let's go in the front of the vehicle and then um uh, see uh where we're gonna start the diagnosis and stuff right all right, the first thing I'm gonna do is like remove this, uh, those two bolts, those two 10 millimeter bolts. I'm just gonna take them off and um, all right, guys. So uh, <clears throat> it's look like this vehicle. They already replaced the. Uh, the as you can see the score because the score what uh, looks uh, so uh, so new and then uh, now what I'm gonna do um, I'm just gonna show you some simple test I'm just gonna switch this ignition core that's the um, ignition one I'm gonna switch it to the ignition two and then um, I'm gonna put the two and the one the one and the two and then um, go and start the car and clear the code and see uh, what's going on all right as i told you i will just uh, switch i switch the the koi i switch the first one to the second one and i take the the spark plug from the first one and i put it on the third that's me now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna reset uh, all the code and start the car up again and then um, see uh, what's going on if I start it and the check engine like um, come back on and it's like the sing the, the secondary um, ignition coil now I'm gonna know this ignition coil right there it's not good and then if it tell me there was a misfire on a cylinder 3 right now and I'm gonna be a hundred percent sure that the spark plug it's not good and um let's go in and check the car see what's going on all right guys uh coming back and then um i took the car to the i-95 and then um do a, a drive test on it and then now as you can see the check engine light is not coming back on only the maintenance light is still on on it so and then um i just talked to the customer and asked him what is the last time that he did the oil change and then he said the last time the car did the oil change is like the, the probably uh, two or three months because the car was at the shop was here like uh, probably two or three months i'm the one who did the oil change on it and then and um as you can see now the engine is running smooth so uh, there is no shaking and then nothing and then no check engine light and as i told you guys so what i did i just uh switch this ignition coil with this one and then what i found is the the code switch from cylinder one to cylinder two that's mean this 
ignition coil right there is the one that was bad. I just go ahead and replace it and put a new one in there. Let me show you. All right, I just go ahead and replace it and then put a new one in there. And now the problem is solved. All right, so uh, thank you guys for watching now. What I gotta do is just do the oil change on this car and then I'll clear the maintenance light and, and um, get it out of here and put the, the coffee back on. All right, guys, so uh, if you like uh, this video, and then um, you can subscribe to my ch channel, and then um, and you can get more video, and then um, and I expect you enjoy, and then um, if you got some this problem in your car, or you find a car with this problem, and then you're probably going to fix it after watching this video. All right, thank you for watching, guys.